Hello and welcome back to research and publishing series of Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek. Many a times we need to reuse, reproduce, adapt or redraw a particular figure or table or other such scheme previously published in some journal. And to use it for your research paper or a review or a book chapter, you need to make sure you do not violate any copyright related issues if there is any to avoid penalties and manuscript retractions. In this video, you will learn under what situations you need to obtain permissions to use the figures and tables and when citing the paper alone is enough. At last, we will see how to obtain such permissions easily. So first, let's see in what situations such permissions are not required. When you make an original figure or table not reported earlier or when it is significantly different from any of the published ones, you do not need to obtain any permission to reuse it. When you redraw a figure that is significantly different from a published one or when you plot a published data in your own style as a figure, citing the original source is enough. Now let's see when it is essential for you to obtain permission from copyright holder or the publisher. When you reproduce or reprint a figure or table that is exactly identical to the published one or when you are adapting a figure which is only slightly modified, you must obtain permission to reuse it from its original publisher or the copyright holder. It is the responsibility of the lead author or the corresponding author of the research article to verify if all the content including the figures and tables are original. If not, he or she has to make sure and obtain any permission from the original copyright holder. In most cases, researchers or students are not asked to pay any charges or fee for obtaining these permissions. And therefore, it is always advisable to take permissions whenever required. And this has to be done before submitting your manuscript or once the manuscript is accepted before publishing. Now let's see how to obtain these permissions. First visit the journal website of the research article and look for rights and permissions or other such terms. When you click on the link, it will redirect you to the page where you can fill in the details to obtain the permission if needed. For example, here is one of my review article published in Environmental and Experimental Botany Journal of Elsevier. And suppose I want to reuse the figure number 3 for my another research article, I need to take the permission from the copyright holder which is the journal publisher. So I go to get rights and content link which will take me to the copyright clearance centers rights link. Fill in the required details like intended use, what type of organization you belong, journal in which you will be publishing and other such information. You can check if there is any fee that needs to be paid. You can see here that its reuse is free but permission to reuse must be obtained. Here you have to create your account. But as I am already logged in, I can fill in the necessary details like the title of the research article, journal in which I intend to publish and click continue. Next mention the order number for our own reference, figure or table number in the new article and accept the order. You can print the order for your reference. You can read general terms of the permission. You will also find how to mention the permission taken in the footnotes or figure legends as shown here. 
another way is you can visit the journal homepage and look for rights and permissions at the bottom. You can visit the link attached in the description below to learn more about the permissions and its requirements. You can also write an email to the customer care if you face any difficulty. I hope this video will help you to obtain permissions to reuse the figures and tables for your research paper, chapters or thesis. If you find the information useful, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and check out other interesting content related to research and publishing. Thanks and see you in my next video.